Welcome to the Cultaholic Wrestling Podcast. If you like a lot of wrestling on your YouTube, HBK is bald. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he is. We've known that for a week and a half, Matthew. But... But I didn't care until I saw it with my very own eyes. <laughs> right. But is he? Has he still got his fringe? Because he, he cut, well, none of us have seen his the, this bit of his head, like the forehead bit yet. No, this tree no, had the have. thing on that held the hat on. The hat was, on the Australian show, the hat was held on through far too many spots. He was getting ragdolled all over the place. And it was just, he's glued it down. It did come off the end. Back in WCPW, a wrestler would breathe on me in the ring and my heart would just pop off. (laughs) And often they would then vandalize my hat somehow. It was a target. You you can tell he's like, pulled it down (laughs) as much as possible. Please stay on. Stuck it on like Matilda's dad. Oh, that's a class reference. The fire was fused to his head. Oh, (laughs) Danny DeVito. I watched that literally last week. It's a fantastic film, isn't it? Have you seen the musical? Is it based on the film? No. The, well, the musical, yeah. Wait, Tim Minchin does the, the musical. Sorry. Uh, sorry, does the music for it. It's, it's a really, really great. I saw, oh, cool. I saw a tweet the other day. It was so funny. It's just one like drunk lad. He seems drunk in his room, and the, or in his kitchen, and his mates have like attached strings to cupboards and stuff. So he's like pointing at everything, and they just go, <laughs> "It's no good. It looks rubbish." But like, in the background, it's like, "Whoa!" whoa. <laughs> it's really bad. <laughs> No Ross today. Ross is yeah, still he's... dead. No, he's ill. Deceased. Come on now. Oh, we're still doing that. Oh, he's kayfabe dead. No, no, no. He was. Uh, it was Jackoff last week, wasn't it? Yeah, Jackoff. Was like, oh, no. no, school was being called Jack King. School was a nightmare. <gasps> You've I never. I've never got that until <laughs> now. Oh my god. That's why it's Jack G King, right? Well, the middle initially is actually G, though. I haven't invented it. Yeah, but it, it's but there to separate it, the. So it doesn't sound like. Yeah. You're a JG, yeah, okay. That's great. That's a great little treat for the audio listeners there. You good. Oh. The ASMR people. <laughs> How are you doing, Matthew? You I'm good? doing wonderful. Why do you have tattoo written on your neck? Oh, yeah. Is I it forgot like Undertaker? About this. Is that your first wife? No, I, I've got <laughs> tattoo there, and I've got tattoo there because I forgot how many knuckles I had. I know a, now. He's a big fan of Russian duo. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and no, it's because I had to do the predictions for Bound for Glory. Um, and Sam is off also ill this week. So uh, I've got I stood a bit in of a and I, We're all being stricken. Yeah. Well, I'm feeling good right now, but I'm hoping I still feel that way by the end of the podcast. Mm, yeah, we will advise that people watching this should wrap up. Uh, just watching this podcast could make <laughs> you ill. Yeah. yeah. So. Are you feeling okay? I was until you said everybody was ill. Oh, are you going to get... Okay, I am endorsed by Aloe Vera from the Chinese place around That'll the corner. That'll keep you healthy. I hope so. It's got bits 100%. in it. 100%. What were you going to say, Jack? King? Um, <laughs> I was just going to say, the point was that Adam is pretending to be Sam. It's a cunning disguise. Yes. So I've been I, miserable I, and aggressive. I've said... And I've been taking loads of smack in the toilet as well, because that's what Jack... Jack? Sam. That's My God, Sam, Sam it's, it's you. You've been doing a lot recently. Mixing up mine and Sam's I'm name. I'm just like, honestly going bro, Like your grandkids, yeah. <laughs> oh, that is... Oh. It's oh, that's too close to home. <laughs> what does Stan's grandpa call him? Billy. You're just Billy. Yeah. You're all Billy now. Stan. What's that's in the news? Me. The news. The news. Ray Mysterio's back full time. For SmackDown. It's actually full time. Mm. Yes. For oh, SmackDown. Which I assume means house shows as well, right? Yeah. Well, SmackDown 1000 is next week. Well, no, I don't know if it means house shows as well. You might have a I think, well, they said reduced schedule. Possibly. I oh. mean, you can understand why they would want him on house shows because he mm. is what we saw at Five Star Wrestling, which we will get to later in the Hall of Fame. Oh, a bit of a tease. Oh. who knows? What could uh, that mean? <laughs> um, we we saw it. Like, he's still a massive draw with kids. Yeah. It's weird, isn't it, that kids now, despite the fact that they didn't even grow up with Rey Mysterio, all, right. where have they seen him? They're all still massive Rey Mysterio yeah. fans. Yeah, it's one of these things where uh, I saw Bischoff yesterday in Biker. Um, just kicking he was about. booked for a gig. Yeah, just, <laughs> just you know what? Drugs. There's one place I want to go to before I die, and that's Biker. Um, <laughs> and yeah, he did say that kids come up to him. And go, oh, I love your stuff, love Nitro. And he goes, <coughs> your parents weren't uh, oh, even old enough to have sex when Nitro was on. How have you watched it? And he goes, well, it's on the network. It's it's easy to, to access now. How do you so think they've discovered him? I wouldn't want my kids watching Nitro. <laughs> I think you said Bray Mysterio then. I wouldn't want my kids bad. watching oh. Bray Mysterio. Uh, not, not in the uh. filthy animals. <laughs> on heel. Look, kids, this is an Eddie Kingston house, all right? <laughs> Turn that crap off. So, oh. no, I think it... I, I was about to say there that I think it's really exciting, but I'm not excited about Ray's return, which is uh, I feel a bit bad about. Yeah, I, he's he's. I think it's because he's so consistently good, and so mm. co- that I'm never. Well, I don't know, but when, back in the day, he was never one of my favourites. And then sometimes you'd watch a match. Usually for me, it was in elimination chambers. He was fantastic oh, in elimination yeah. chamber, and I'd watch them and think, "Whoa, Ray Mysterio is really really good." But I just sort of you forget it because he's always 
on a level. He's, I don't know. Yeah, you get, totally. you get used to him being good. Yeah, right. I think yeah. it's because seen him all, in almost every promotion going <laughs> over the past what? F- how long has he been away from WWE now? Well, apart from the Royal Rumble, <sighs> five years. Yeah, apart from the, yeah, of course yeah. he returned here yeah, this and year. And everyone was buzzing. Everyone was like, oh. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I'm excited. I like to the see last him time he was in Rumble. Yes. Not as much as I should be, I guess. Yeah. Well, like, as you said, though, you've grown up watching him from Nitro to SmackDown to Raw to everything yeah. else. You've seen a lot of Rey Mysterio, and I'm I'm the same. Love him, but it's like I've seen you like he's like Dolph Ziggler. I've seen a lot of you. You're great. Yeah. It's nothing against you, but he's I've, not, he's not I've seen back. you more than I've seen some of my family members. <laughs> Just go away for a bit. Please. He's not coming back for us. That's exactly. It, I, yeah. I guess yeah. that's. What's well, um, in the news? Other news, it's all kicking off in New Japan, both mm. behind the scenes and in storylines as well. Go on. Oh, Rumbles, according to Meltzer, have a bit of discontent behind the scenes. Oh, no, Meltzer! Oh, there he is. We get a Meltzer <laughs> puppet just because the amount of times oh. we get a, like, Meltzer. According to Meltzer, you can probably go, I didn't say that. Meltzer <laughs> cracked a brilliant gag in um, The Observer this week. He was in his oh. Super Showdown review. He, he called Cena John Bradshaw Cena. <laughs> He's stolen that from me. I said that his exact words. Yeah, it wasn't everyone, funny then either. Along with <laughs> every other every person with eyes and a Twitter account. Um, but yeah, there's rumblings that apparently the new management, Harold Mige, the Dutch bloke, and his assistant, I think it's called Michael Craven, a, a British guy. Who, yeah. Um, yeah. Really? Yeah. Uh, who, um, who apparently doesn't, he's not a wrestling guy. I don't know who Love said him. this. There's no direct quotes from anyone, but apparently wrestlers are feeling like Factory line workers, or rather Ooh. than actual stars. What's this down to? Increased dates or um, overproduction of matches? I think it's the way that they've been communicating with the management. I guess like mm-hmm. the management seems to be not talking down to them, but they just don't get wrestling, so right, they'll say okay. weird things or not. And it's a difficult business for outsiders to wrap their heads around. I guess. Yeah, they should bring in Dixie Carter. That's the solution. Bring in John Hurd. <laughs> Jim Hurd, you idiot. John. John Hurd. No, John oh, Bradshaw Hurd. He also wrestles in Aussie I, I was trying to talk about LAX, and I said that Tito Santana was a member of the, <laughs> today. <laughs> yeah. It's Santana. You say Tito Santana like Santana. I should say Tito Santana. Sol, Sol, yeah, Santana yeah. Yeah. And I did Spanish. At, did you? At school, yeah. What else is in the news? Um, well, in storylines in New Japan, mm. uh, Jericho's back. Yes. He popped up and now he's going off for his cruise, mm-hmm. uh, which we've still not been invited to. Um, he Go came... on, reveal it. You're, you're there, <laughs> aren't you? You're sharing a room with Noel Foley, <laughs> just to spite me. Yeah. Brother the clowns in the one next door. <laughs> just picturing Cody at the captain's table, flanked by like Pharaoh, Brandy, Matthews <laughs> there. And all wearing ship outfits. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a very classy effect. <laughs> yeah. um, but he came back disguised as one of Evil's druids. So for those unfamiliar with New Japan, there's a wrestler literally called Evil in uh, Los Ingobernables de Japón. And he's just a Grim Reaper, essentially. And sometimes he comes out with druids, but one of them this time was Chrissy J. Right. Beat him up. And he was wearing that weird thin black lipstick. That I he can't. Wears. It's. I know he's old. <laughs> and he doesn't know what cool is anymore. Fuzzy aren't cool. They're co- it, it's fine. It's it's like old <coughs> old school rock, right? And that's that's fine. But when he does these reveals, I think in his mind he looks the absolute bollocks. <laughs> and I always see them, and I just think, God, that's like my dad doing it. That's, <laughs> it doesn't look as cool yeah. as you think it does because his makeup's always a little bit worn off, a bit sweaty. Like, <laughs> Some say he's well, trying too hard, and he's not quite. <laughs> yeah. Hit. Right. Uh, yeah. What else is in the news? Oh, I try to think of a, a pretty fly for a liger. This has gone wrong. Liger. Um, a li- like liger. Oh, yeah. do, 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 do. News, 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 yeah. news. <laughs> um, what else is in the news? Um, Mike Canellis came back. Mike Canellis and Maria, Maria. were on um, 205 Live. Um, they, atta- they attacked my boy, Lindsay. He what? can't be under 205. Mike Canellis? Yeah. yeah, he's quite built, but he's quite short. His career is. <laughs> oh, ooh. no. Oh, don't, don't ooh me, I'm <laughs> right. <laughs> I, I like him. Yeah, but he yeah, appeared I on like Raw him. like a few a month ago, maybe, where he was just backstage when um, your boy, uh, Mojo and Boy Rude. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there was a few that didn't happen. Um, mm. He was just there like like an Easter egg. Yeah. Strange. Um, so that's, that's sort of news. And... Um, and also in British wrestling news, they've announced that NXT UK oh, yeah. is going to start Wednesdays. I think was it eight or seven? Between seven and eight. BST. BS British time. Oh, Get yeah. it? Oh, nice. Yeah. That's Finally, right. they're sitting on about ten years of footage by this point. <laughs> surely. Yeah. Right. Um, oh, I think it's good. I think yeah. you know more exposure for for the guys. There's nothing bad about it, is there? Really? Yeah, and we're co-opted, so it's okay, <laughs> even if the little companies are run down completely. Oh come on.
Everybody get excited for the Cultaholic Hall of Fame. Everybody get excited for the Cultaholic Hall, Hall of, of fame. fame. I love Cal. Great guy. Great guy. Great voice. Great voice. We modern, need a... Um, maybe this is the point now. Let's let's do this. So we need a um, a voice, a sting for the um, the big question. Something mammoth. Where oh. the, the big question. That'll Cal do. is unavailable. That'll, that'll do. No, 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 there you go. Right. That's it. No, no, no. I'm going to put it to, to everyone listening <laughs> oh, and watching no. right now. If you want to do no. that, record something no. for us. Send it in. Uh, <coughs> mailbag at cultaholic.com. But you know that they're going to... They're going to... Not to the Americans are going to go way overboard. Yeah, is what I'm absolutely. saying. No, that's great. Uh, okay, go yeah. go absolutely nuts, and we will premiere the new one on next week's podcast. Yeah, do it like an American YouTuber. It's the big <laughs> question. <laughs> hey guys, what is up, YouTube? It's your boy. <laughs> what is up, Cult Nation? Can Cult, you Nation yes. <laughs> Cult Nation. Cult Nation does not sound good. <laughs> we need a name for the the cultomaniacs or whatever they're called. Ross has got sexual wank fetish, yeah, obviously, yeah. but we need a all encompassing well, cultaholics. I thought the cultaholic. I thought you're a cultaholic of cultaholic. Yeah, I was going to say, I thought that was a Join us. You can't, you can't be a cultaholic of cultaholic, though. Right. I thought that was your idea. You're a cultomaniac. Join, join us. Join our cultist. You're a cultist. No, you're a part of a cult. <laughs> you're a cult member. You're a cultaholic. <laughs> holic. That's what they are. I, I like that. Yeah, cult the cultaholic holics. Uh, Rolls off the tongue yeah. beautifully. Oh, God. What's in the Hall of Fame? So what? Sorry. My thing last week was Paige, because she trashed. Sid Vicious on Twitter because he was a dick. Yours was? WD Storytime. Which I've watched since and it is very, very funny. I wasn't lying. Thank you. Really good. I was and good. Ross's oh, yeah. was uh, the promoter of Five Star Wrestling, the now deceased wrestling promotion here in the UK. The, the, the UK's original and premier promotion. Uh, Daniel Hinkles. Um, Where did he put him? And the winner is... Please, please, please be done. It's oh, bloody Paige. Sorry, Dan. There she is. The winner is somebody what? that people actually know who What's they that? are. What's so. that? It's uh, just a page I ripped out of the manual. For oh, an actual it. page. Yeah. I thought it would be a fun little joke for the podcast, lads. It's because you don't know how to print stuff off, isn't it? I've done it once. I just couldn't be bothered to cut it out. We haven't got any of those plastic scissors. <laughs> it's installing Windows 10 is the head of that. handy. <laughs> well, that went over like a lead balloon. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I, uh, thought so you, I thought you were going to both be like, oh. Yeah. oh yes. it, it's all in Windows 10. I thought it was going to become like an iconic moment of this podcast, like the James story, but no, not at all. <laughs> Never mind. Nah. Uh, so I've got one for this week. I'm ready to, to go. You ready to rumble? Mine's a sensible one. And we'll talk about him a bit more, I imagine, in a moment. But oh, uh, mine so. is because of Super Showdown, mm -hmm. uh, match of the night for me and the new Cruiserweight champion, Buddy Murphy, a very sensible Pick. Yeah, hell of a no, match. That's a solid pick. Hell of a talent. He's developed an incredible personality. I think he's he's great, and he's somebody that nobody was talking about. No, mm. in fact, people would, a year and a half ago had just said, "Yeah, that guy's not going to be here in 2018." Yeah, or maybe gone by the end of 2018, and he's proven everyone wrong. I I saw a comparison. I can't remember who it was. May have been Melter. Don't know. But someone said it was. <laughs> someone said he's a bit like um a bit like Eddie Guerrero. In the he's not the no no I'm not saying he's as good as Eddie Guerrero was because obviously Eddie Guerrero is I know, I know. the best of all but Buddy Murphy is similar size he's short but like built and agile and powerful and he's he's more right, of a, he's yeah. more of a hard hitter than Eddie was I suppose but yeah I, I can sort of see it I... it's obviously like a massive like massive shoes to fill to be mentioned the same sentence as but I think he's really really good. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, sorry for not a fun one, though. But it's all right, because don't worry. It's fun if you like him. Don't worry about it. I've, no, it's, I've not. it's Jack's page joke. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I've not got a fun one. I've got a, a a weird one, but I can link it back to wrestling. Okay. So, it's Bruffy. I'm reading off my hand for those listening. Bruffy1322, a YouTuber. I know I once nominated Kip Clips. Shout out to Kip Clips. Oh. But, and shout out to Brandon, a lad I met who asked me to shout him up. Stroud. But, um, not Stroud. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, Brandon S. But... Uh, no, th this this is a YouTuber. It's spelled B R O U G H Y one three two two, and he's a YouTuber who primarily does. Stop laughing. Is that a password? No, <laughs> it sounds like one. Who primarily does um, GTA race mode, GTA five race mode, right? Uh -huh. Random races. So like, there's four, there's forty laps. There's like twenty lads online, all racing against each other, and every time you cross the finish line. It, it randomizes your car. So you could be in a tractor, you could be in a sports car. And he gets so annoyed. And I'm like, this is your thing. Why are you getting so annoyed about it? So you're like, you'll be like, oh, I've got a tractor, this is ridiculous. And I think that it it's an allegory for wrestling fans. Because 
we love it. It's wrestling, but we no one hates wrestling more than wrestling fans do. Yeah. And I've tried to. I've tried to. It's a shame that you've given it that man's title. Was it Benny two four? Bruff, Bruffy one three two. Whatever. Two. He's from. Sounds like he's from a peer judging by his accent. Get him on. Yeah. Get him in. Uh, but no, you're you're totally right because that's a fantastic analogy for. Thank you. It was a bit GCSE fans. English, but yeah, yeah. we do always yeah. whinge, but very few of us stop watching. All we do is whinge, whinge. We're all. Uh, I was gonna say all alcoholics, but no, we're called Yeah. Apparently, yeah. it's a new thing. Wrestleholics. It's a uh, yeah. You're I hate us, but. <laughs> Even when I took a big long break from wrestling, I can't remember what year it was, around 2002, 2003. Uh, I stopped yeah. watching for like four or five years. Oh, you were still like I'm, a child? You're like yeah, yeah, I was, I was young. I just sort of... You don't be on the TV was, uh, shows two, twice that year. <laughs> Basically, I, I started hitting puberty and I thought, right, I need to be cool now. Oh, I did the same. Didn't, yeah. didn't work out, no. obviously, but... Uh, yeah, no, I stopped oh, watching. You've got your cool tattoos now. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Hey, man. <coughs> uh, yeah, I stopped watching, and uh, I would still... Something would pique my interest, or I'd see something in some mainstream, mainstream media, and I'd think, oh, yeah, I'll go and have a look. I'll read the SmackDown results, maybe. maybe yeah. The raw result. You can't ever get away from it. We're in this for life. Well, like Terry's fun. <sighs> it's... it's Forever, forever. forever. Yeah. It, it's sad that you say that, but you are right. It's like, ah, oh, I could stop this any time. Why haven't you? Because I don't want to. Yeah. A lot of people, and it's one of the biggest compliments we get, is that when people say, oh, you got me back into wrestling. But I also think, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you oh, just I, escaped, right, I get that a lot. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, um, even better. I don't watch wrestling, but I watch you guys talking about yeah. wrestling. <laughs> it's so like, weird, that. Isn't that great? Yeah. Abs- you know what? I, I don't know if we've talked about this before, but it was um, you were in part... Uh, responsible for me getting back into wrestling. I wasn't uh, sure if it was I you. Was, yeah, was yeah, you said well. that. I wasn't sure it was you yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah absolutely. No, you were already I'm... like a, a deal at that point. So no, no, not not at all. No, I started no. watching Botchmania around Botchmania thirty ish. Jesus Christ! Yeah, a long time ago. <laughs> but so it was what, in black what, and white. What year? <laughs> <laughs> what year would that have been? Because I think I restarted uh, watching oh, in two thousand eight. Yeah, yep. there you go. Um, yeah, so no, you thank you, thank you, Matthew. Big round. Which is why I'm changing. I am like the, the granddad here, <laughs> yeah. like, my boys. I remember being so aware proud. of it long before I realized you were from up here. And then when I realized you were from up here, I was like, what? It was like, so like. Well, I'm so backward with regards to this because you guys, I'm sorry about the Hall of Fame, by the way, but like, um, <laughs> you guys have like. Uh, you guys are people who have uh, know what to do with these videos and uh, advertise yourself, market yourself, wow. and whatever. And I'm a guy that's basically doing something because he enjoyed doing it. Your and it's then be like, oh, hello, <laughs> you're, you're, <laughs> hello. I'd be like, yeah, whatever. We don't care about you. Get your get your mug behind no, the computer and no, make a video. Not, it's you're, not true. You're, you're, you're the Sex Pistols, Matthew, and we're bloody One Direction. Oh, no. Yeah. That's well, a bad, we're both boy bands. Yeah, they're, they're horrible. <laughs> <now. Sex> Pist- <gasps> right, no, anyway. they were not punk. I'm not. Were, a, I'm more of a Ramones. But anyway. There we go. Yeah. Um, They're all dead. What's your... Um, uh, I will go with... Is Dee Dee Ramon dead? Yeah, yeah, I think the last surviving oh, Ramon died a while ago. Sad. Sorry, carry on. Not no problem. Which Ramon are you putting into the... Uh, I was going to say, right? <laughs> Razor Ramon. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh. We're on fire today. It is hot as balls. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Jack King. Um, I'm going to go with... If you make it relevant to this wonderful cultaholic thing we have. Smackdown, here comes the pain. Ah, Okay. Which, coincidentally, to my pick to the Hall of Fame, I will be streaming. You, you, you well, when this goes out, Matthew, I just you streamed it, it yesterday. So, did I say streaming? I meant stream ed, <laughs> past tense of stream. Of course, yeah. this is live. You stromed it. <laughs> yes. How did it go, Matthew? It went well. <laughs> you edit that wherever you like. So, before I, I'm sure you'll talk about this on the stream later, but it's not one that you've played at any length before right no i've played it with friends a while ago but this was on one of these let's just veg out and play <laughs> we've got bored of dragon ball z but okay but okay whatever the fuck what? um <laughs> but, but uh the xbox one and so we started playing <coughs> that but uh, and online i believe it was a name redacted list that had that above no mercy and i was like yeah. what and i went can you believe this guy and people who played here comes the pain i've gone yeah it's probably the best smackdown game on the PlayStation, it is really good. Game. yeah, it's and I'm like, game. oh, all right, but I didn't play it because not because I was like, I hate Sony or anything like that, but um, I had the GameCube and my brother the PS2, and was he balls gonna buy a wrestling game at that point? He was too busy playing NBA Jam, so um, <sighs> great game, yeah, for the SNES, he's on fire. No, God, great man, NBA Jam, you idiot, uh, NBA Street, oh, oh, oh NBA, NBA Jam for PS2, NBA sorry, S- of oh. course, you like, hi, I'm the gaming what guy here, mean? of course, you, you like NBA Street, NBA Street Volume 2 was also pretty good, yeah. um, close, but not close enough, yeah, yeah, yeah oh. great commentator, NBA Street, 
So I'm I inducting that. I also NBA Live oh, 2005 as well, which was... Do yeah. you? <laughs> 2005. No, because the Do intro... Do you have to say that name? The we, intro we, of the game was like, yo, NBA Live 2005. I was just... I thought I was classy. <laughs> yeah. It, it, to me, the, the here comes the pain. For me, I um I grew up with SmackDown, SmackDown 2, Know Your Role on PS1. 2005 was a Which, sorry to interrupt, apparently the difference in SmackDown and SmackDown 2 was six months. What? Seriously? The yeah, I'm going to have to check PS that. Someone actually told me that on Twitter, but I'll have to check that. But like, well, well, I'll do it now. You, you talk about that. So um, I honestly think it just comes down to which one you played growing up because I prefer SmackDown 2 to um, No Mercy. And when I've played No Mercy, I understand like it's a really good game. But to me now, it feels a bit clunky. And maybe that's the beauty of it. Maybe. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what people like about it. It had a really stacked roster, but so did SmackDown 2. Um, I, yeah, I just think it, it totally depends on which one uh, you grew up with. I never, for some reason, I never played No Mercy. I had an N64, but I played really? I played Attitude, which wasn't as good. Oh. Ad, that was the first game I had on the PS1. That was the, yeah. um, what was it on PS1? Oh no, Warzone. I had Warzone, yeah, was, sorry. Warzone, Same Attitude, engine, WrestleMania. Though, right? Yeah, it was Attitude, Attitude was... Warzone, then ECW Hardcore Revolution, and then the which Dreamcast, the, engine, the Acclaim engine? Engine one got the one up. Yeah, that's right, the Acclaim. Uh, well, you have to input the moves like it's Street Fighter. So up, down, left, down, left, right, B. Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, man. And was, I loved Attitude. Until WrestleMania came out, and then I tried to go back to WrestleMania. Uh, sorry, back to Attitude. This is WrestleMania and went, 2000 for the yes. N64. Never played it. Wasn't that Great. the No Mercy engine as well? Yes, before WrestleMania uh, for No Mercy. Yes. So why Can't is No Mercy today, better than WrestleMania 2000? Uh, there's running grapples. You can go backstage. Uh, right. There's no slowdown. Some hardcore slowdown. No, no. There's a weird bug in WrestleMania 2000 where if you press all the buttons, uh, the CPU takes over. And unless you have the manual to go back to, I'll switch it off. God, it's annoying. Oh, yeah, uh, a that. way better one-player mode. And, yeah, just overall better in every way. Yeah. Play. I started playing a bit of um, SmackDown 2 career mode. And they've got this the most annoying thing ever, which is um, when you're doing the career mode, you get a, a <coughs> card for each event. So you'll do SmackDown, and then you'll do Raw, and then you'll do the pay-per-view. Um, but even the matches that you're not involved with, which is each time, six or seven on the card, you have to simulate them. Mm. And you've got you can't skip. Mm. You, you can skip, but you've got to watch this annoying little, little animation of some health bars. Yeah. Oh, down. yeah, right. Like that. oh, yeah, wow. that's so annoying. Yeah. And I just checked. SmackDown 1, March 2000. SmackDown 2, November 2000. That's wow. insane. Wrestling was hot back then. Yeah. That's mental. And I had the chipped version uh, of the copied ah. version of the PlayStation 1 was chipped and the copied version <coughs> I'm sure lots of people have it's when you get to um, they're doing uh, SummerSlam 99 where there's two refs mm -hmm. and it's uh, both Shane and oh, you can have two refs can you? yeah it's Shane and somebody else and then you have to do the pin the thing is you have to uh, one guy has to win maybe Triple H has to win or whatever but if you do the other guy the game just freezes and breaks that's as far as it gets oh wow J just because it was a chipped PlayStation yeah yeah chip PlayStation I think yeah, the copied version of that game for whatever reason. You got up to that point and it just froze. Those were the days. We had a chip PlayStation as well, going to car boots and buying right. games. Just burnt onto a CD for two quid. A bit of blue tack in your yeah. console made it work. <laughs> Ludicrous. Amazing. Big, big old chunky card in the back. Can't remember yeah. what it's called. Yeah. Piracy's not cool, though. And we would see people would go down to the, uh, place to the car boot sale, sometimes being chased by the police. Really? It was mint. <laughs> <laughs> so yours is... Yeah, sorry. Smackdown, here comes the pain. Boofy, one... Three two two, and Buddy Murphy. Vote now. It's Patreon.com forward slash cultaholic. You culta maniacs, you bastards. You culta culta holic. Culta culta burning love. Suggestions in the comments. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the Raw and SmackDown recap. It's Raw and SmackDown. Should we also talk a little bit about Super Showdown? Yeah. It's Super Showdown. Yes. I enjoyed it, and I always wonder now if I'm enjoying shows that aren't as good as I think they are because I'm a little bit pissed when I watch them. So mm. Ross and I did a live stream. Um, got fairly dry. I had five or six cans of Foster's, the traditional Australian drink. Oh, is that <laughs> Leave your nasty who... comments. VB. I know it's VB. He who um, thinks Australian. <laughs> is that was that the thing? He who thinks Australian drinks Australian. Yeah. Yeah, they don't drink it there anyway. But uh, I... No. Oh, Fosters. God, the comments on all oh, of Oh, were they all like, how dare you? We had a Kylie Minogue thing, as you saw. We I had saw. the cork hats. We were terribly racist. She's Australian. And yeah, she is. Y yeah. Y that's why she was there, yes. Yes. Uh, You're going, oh, wow, wow. <laughs> Talks about Slim Dusty. Sang Waltzing with her. Anyway. That's a great uh, song. I thought it was uh, a good show. I've rewatched the main since, <laughs> and it was a cluster, wasn't it? It, they it tried so hard and to make it so dramatic. Far. But in the end... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
<laughs> but yeah, they tried for like, how long was it? 30 minutes, 35 minutes? It went on. It was long. Why? Why in the name of Christ would it, you have that go that Kane did nothing. Kane was useless in that. He was the worst Kane the went, table. Kane went, hit me here, <laughs> hit me. Man, they were so loud. God, it's great for you, isn't it? Jesus yeah, Christ, it you've, got a, you've got out of a 35 minute match about 32 told, minutes to use it. They put like the chair over Undertaker's head and you could hear her. Anyone, hurry up, it's cold. <laughs> That's not true. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Watch my it's award winning cold. video series. Everybody was saying it's cold, meaning, you know, it, it, the crowd reaction's tepid. Can you oh, hurry up, please? Right. Oh, I meant, oh, oh, maybe he meant his I chair's cold. Meant <laughs> oh, I, I, I hope he meant the second. I hope he meant He's the second. He's in Australia. It must have been boiling. It's <sighs> God, <sighs> my God, what a match. <sighs> <laughs> Wait, is that Hurricane Isabel coming? I think it was uh, Taker said to Triple H very audibly at one point. You're right. <laughs> yeah. Yari Park. Good day. Uh, I, <laughs> oh, fair play to Triple H, man. He tried. For he what? really had a for, for just for getting, for getting through it. No, because for not dying. Well no, done. because I mean the, the bit where I was worried for him was when take out the backdrop him and he just sort of went. Oh, <laughs> get Whoa! <up."> no. <laughs> <sighs> I thought it was a it was an all right show. I'm glad that these things are starting to feel a little bit more canon with the title change. That's cool. I know it's not a Raw or SmackDown title or anything like that. But definitely match of the night. Uh, Samoa Joe and AJ, I thought was great as well. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, and go back to the uh, Murphy thing. It's the most I've cared about the Tour Five Live thing since Murphy versus Ali. So. Right, fantastic. Right. Yeah, yeah. And so yeah, well done, Murphy. I was like, no, how dare you? Say- oh wait, yeah, no, I do care about. It. They did such a great thing with uh, Cedric Alexander and the um, the protection of the lumbar check because people just don't kick out of it. Yeah. Mm. And when he finally kicked out of it. What a place to do it. And won, thankfully. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. It was, uh, I, I didn't think there were going to be two um, Australian victories. I thought the Iconics were going to lose. I guess it was just a uh, poor ass coming uh, Naomi. The, uh, the Iconics looked uh, very pleased. I was yeah, quite pleased I, when they were buzzing when they were walking by the ramp. They were like, yeah. It's like, I, me I doing it in, it's like me doing it in Jarrow. We should do a show in Jarrow. Yeah. <laughs> Get the bag up <laughs> together. Down at the YWCA, where I, used yeah. to, where I used to do jiu-jitsu as a child. Is that right? Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah. Do you remember any of it? Yeah. The Steve Blackman of Jarrow. Did he do jiu jitsu? He did thing. anything he Sorry, wanted to. It's all right, there we go. And then Remember I'm the tap it hurts. You're much bigger, you're much ma- bigger ma- than me, I can't do it. I'm not much bigger than you. Yeah, you Don't are. smudge my tattoos. Sorry, Chris Renfrew. <laughs> I've said, didn't Chris Renfrew do that? It has like words written on him sometimes. Like Hakushi. Oh, yeah, he did yeah. a few times. But there. like, yeah. not, not like, no, not like Scottish words. A not Scottish like Hakushi jobby. would be great. <laughs> yeah. No, it's like a jobby. Not as neat as Hakushi's, they're more just like... That must have been such a ball ache for Hakushi. Yeah. Imagine him backstage and oh, that must have taken for like ten an size, hour. Well, and I'm that was one of those yeah, things... Ten, yeah, oh, you get the... Yeah, but like, Hakushi's would never rub. No. So there was a team with thing like, are those tattooed? Because uh, like, they I would thought... never go. They would like, you sweat and sweat and <coughs> wrestling Brad Harder in your house one and all this. <laughs> Still clear as day. <laughs> When, uh, when I got back into wrestling, I think I've told this before, but I honestly thought that uh, Umaga's tattoos that weren't tattoos, his face paint was real. Uh, I that was legit as well. I really like it when a wrestler's wearing face paint and just in a big match it starts to come off. Like yeah. Goldust, when him yeah, and Cody yeah. had to save their jobs. And Goldust nearly yeah. got all... And I was just like, it means so much. Or Warrior versus Finn. Savage. You know, yeah. yeah. Oh. I'm going to do another one of my Chikara things that you find cute. Chikara. Where... Um, the older man is black had a match where if he lost he was going to retire and his mask was getting peeled off and I was like oh it's messed I like older man is black yeah. I'm sorry for being like a knob when you said that. I, was, <laughs> I was watching an indie show I'm no. like ha 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 you don't watch indie re-. being a, a blatant gatekeeper which is just like <laughs> only I can watch Takara Jeez. you go watch Web <sighs> Pro or something you nerd <laughs> uh, but yeah uh, Aussie Super Showdown was there were some good bits to it but the rest was it was yeah. more filler than a meal deal sardi, as I like saying. John Cena um, did 40 <laughs> seconds of... Uh, yeah, work. right. Fair play. And yeah. no pop whatsoever for the sixth move of Doom. I, l- I love it. But no pop. Likes it. Yeah, because it was awful. Yeah. You're being trolled. Yes, and yeah. the crowd loved that. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. But like, Cena, I think Cena's hilarious. His Instagram page is a testament to his intelligence and understanding of comedy I guess yeah, yeah, yeah. oh he's a um, funny guy he's a really funny guy and the whole thing what, what I think it is personally I've already sp- spoken about this on a few videos but like he has been accused for so long of not being able to be a wrestler he's a rubbish wrestler he can't wrestle and then he does <laughs> hilarious he is funny and he's rattled you 
I, Sucker. <laughs> no, I'm not. Yeah, gotten, yeah, yeah, I am yeah. not gotten to. Thank drill. It, I am not gotten to. Obviously, you're a massive Andy Kaufman fan, and yeah. you're saying here that Cena is the living spirit. Of no, I'm Andy not Kaufman. saying. No, like I'm not. I think that's exactly what he's you're saying. No, I'm not. Yeah. He is a big wind up, though. He is a big yeah, wind up. Yeah, fair yeah. play to him. When yeah. you're that rich and successful, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What's a finish? I do that. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> do, 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 do. See you later, uh, Owens and Elias, you young bastards. He should have hit Elias, and then Owens took a bump, but he's not even on the ring <laughs> no uh, well, yeah, that, that, yeah that was good uh, yeah Joe Styles I liked felt like the yeah. feud ender it's uh, it's sad that the way they've had three shows in quick succession um, that has felt like they've you know had to have Joe lose but not lose but kind of because we have another show in yeah. another country blah 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 but this this felt like a big match I'll tell you and, what when yeah. you mentioned Miz and Brian oh he, man oh. that was uh, weird it was weird do you think it was to cut time yeah, they needed all of the 45 minutes for The Undertaker. <laughs> according to Dave Meltzer... Go on. Um, I'll confirm. It was, it was because... <sighs> it was bum, sorry. It was because um, they wanted to use it to like humiliate The Miz as a heel, so he's going to be referred to from now on as the two-minute man and stuff like that. Ah, okay. Yeah. I did say that. All right, yeah, fine. Ah, fair. Uh, yeah, no, I, I mean, they were, they were obviously doing that on SmackDown. I... Th I, I I really want to see from the uh, the Crown Jewel show a uh, thirty-minute classic. Yeah, I'd like to see that <laughs> too. Yeah. I'd like to see, obviously, because it's AJ Bryan, and I think a, a few people, certainly from the comments that I see on our videos, have soured on Bryan uh, since his return, which I think is a shame. Genuinely, no, it's it's a weird thing. People like maybe they've forgotten about his WrestleMania win, and I, I don't know, whatever. Maybe they just they just sort of say he's another wrestler, and fine if that's uh, what you feel. Maybe they but, forgot about him versus Kenta in two thousand and seven. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, or him versus Kamal in 05. Oh yeah, I saw I watched that the other day, wasn't it? No, WSW. No, 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 it was some uh, was it? American place. Oh, really? God, the idea of WXW flying out. <laughs> okay, on. guess you're gonna wrestle. Oh, which one? Is it Axel Dieter? Is it both? Kamala, <laughs> but to, and he's got his legs. No, <laughs> oh, I knew you were gonna go. No, I knew to, it. To me, like he needs a, a big thirty-minute match to sort of, sort of maybe remind people uh, how brilliant he is. The Miz is gonna Phil probably got, interfere. Oh, well, forgot about Dre. He'll be back. Um, oh, go on. I like that. Uh, skipping ahead to the SmackDown Miz TV thing, seems on the subject. Mm. I love the segment because one of the reasons why I like Miz versus Brian so much is there is a level, a meta level, to Miz going. Yeah. Oh, wow. Brian versus Styles, and they both respect each other. Ooh, that's really exciting. <laughs> yeah. Because there are people who go, that match is going to be great, work rate wise. Yeah. I don't care about the story. But there's people like me who are like, yeah, where's the beef? Yeah. Can, you're a really good wrestler. And then he went, yeah, Styles, you're just Brian, but you look like that. <laughs> no, you're Brian from the South, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, you're Brian from the South. Yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, no, I, I'm actually quite refreshed by a just wrestler on wrestler face feud after Samoa Joe, where it was so intense right, yeah, and yeah. personal. So I'm not anti it, but. I, I think he had a fair few yeah. points. He, he really shone in that promo. We'll get to that in a minute. When we get to the three-way, when it's Miz, Brian Styles, and Miz beats oh, imagine. Styles the title, and then it's like this as you pin. As, as, as Brian's really running good. to like break up the pin, and he's like that. Oh, I can't wait for it. What happened on Raw? Raw oh, was um, <laughs> it was good this week. I, did, I personally didn't enjoy it, but did you not? Sort of, not really. Um, Lots so happened. The big thing, I guess, was the Bellas turned heel on Ronda. Was that the big thing? I think it was two big things. Yes, the other the one was reforming. Oh, of course. Was oh, Evan Owens double turn. No, that wasn't it. Was yeah, yeah, that was it. Yeah, they, yeah, they were. I will listen. Uh, so I tell you, I didn't watch Raw. I just skipped the bits I wanted to see. It's just they get ready to suck it. Oh my god, <laughs> hey, it's so embarrassing, isn't it? At this point, <laughs> <laughs> in, in 09, it was embarrassing. In 06, it was embarrassing. It's cold. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Um, <laughs> um, I love Triple H. No, I can't. I feel so bad. Um, so <laughs> they need a massive tank-sized mobility scooter to come down. On they came it. back. It's official. Michaels is coming out of retirement for that tag match in Saudi Arabia. Uh, will he be good? Will he be able to still be great? Yes, Michaels? I think it'll be good. It'll be another sort of big dramatic, uh, not spot fest, but the, the, what we saw. Uh, um, Super Showdown. I think it'll be similar to that. To me, in my mind now, I've just come to accept that that's going to happen. That Michaels is coming back, and that that sucks in a way. But also, there is one thing that I'd like to see happen. If this happens, I'll be happy, and that is for Michaels to retire Taker at Survivor Series, where Taker, oh. of course, debuted. 
that is that's a continuation of a story that we didn't perhaps think we well, we definitely didn't think we were going to get. But that is the only conclusion I think I would be happy with. Okay, Mister Entitled Wrestling Fan. Absolutely, that, that's all I want. If I don't get that, Man. it's like like the last Star Trek film they did before Next Generation, where they're all just like enormous and old, and like <laughs> only we could save the day. I'm like, all right, okay, Scotty, sit down, pal. Um, yeah, and it's great. It's gonna be like the way Outlaws match. Shawn Michaels gonna bump for Undertaker, Kane, the referee, the Saudi <laughs> prince, and then make the hot time Triple H one pedigree. That'll be it. You think it's gonna be win? miserable. I think the Bros are gonna win. I think uh, gonna get Yeah, I think back. they're gonna win this time. Oh, it's not WrestleMania, so Triple H can't win necessarily. Yeah, okay, fair yeah. enough. Paul. Yeah. Um, uh, you finally got what you wanted. You've got heel Bobby Lashley. Thoughts. Thank Christ. <laughs> yeah. And I was loving it because it wasn't immediate. It was just like, come on, guys, Lashley. And Carl, like, oh, finally, we can <laughs> boo him. It was just like, it was immediate, like, switch. Like, press the, press the boos for Lashley. Boo! Yeah. And then cheers for Owens. Yeah. So I'm not sure if it is a double turn, though, because Owens has been getting cheered for the last six months. Owens is, um, I think this Owens is, it. apparently Owens is taking time off to get uh, surgery, minus surgery? Yeah, I, uh, eight months. I, really? I was going to say that no. he's needed for ages, though. So. No. Well, that's what's been reported. Oh, but I'm going to miss Imagine him so if he's coming back as a baby face and he does so after four months, yeah. then that's great. And a, I think that Lashley and Owens could have a fantastic feud. He Especially if he he Lashley dominates for a few few months. I think that's that's great. Yeah. And I'm really happy to see it. All it needs is uh, you're putting the puppet yeah. on there. I don't see how <coughs> a little guy making daft noises for a big guy is oh. a bad thing. I don't know why they're booing him either. <laughs> I saw that, sorry. Um, um, what else was on Raw? I'm relieved. I'm relieved as well that Nikki Bella's a heel now, or the Bellas are heels now. Again, because and were they ever good to be? Well, like, I mean, <laughs> I can't look at them when they act oh, yeah. like they do, even as baby faces. All in storyline, obviously. But I can't see how why people love them so much as baby faces. Because they're I don't think people do. Nikki's a natural heel. She's good at it. Yeah, yeah. She's a good heel. And uh well And Brie looks like her, so well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> well she used to. Um but then, what? They did, no, used not the look, carry on. they did used to look proper similar. They're twin. Right. Um, I'm just relieved that it's happening. I don't know how the match is going to go, but I think it's one I'm interested in. Yeah. They, I, it's going to be curious to see Ronda Rousey fight someone with a better knockout ratio than her. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's brave. Uh, that's brave. Yeah, yeah. That's, I thought it was going to be a handicap match. Oh, is it? I thought it was just Nikki. I did actually announce it on the show. Crap. I Again, I sure. skipped no, ahead. I yeah, did. No one saw all think... Ron and Zedis. He was actually, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, but if if it is, then that's cool. Also, I I just I'm I, just oh anyway, if it's a singles match, no, it's gonna it's gonna last ten seconds. I think it's right? a handicap match. It has to it be a handicap really match. Uh, I hadn't seen it. Being there's announced, no way. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, SmackDown was no, very good. Did anything else happen on Raw? Yeah, there was some World Cup qualifiers. Oh all god, the, uh, what all the, the hell? All the Americans have qualified. Same as SmackDown. Oh, it's but, four but, Americans. But Kurt Angle's bit was funny when he was the conquistador. That yeah, was funny. when he when he took his mask off, it looked like a condom had torn. <laughs> <laughs> My God, that was terrifying. Um, but, and you can tell wrestling's fake when there's Americans in a World Cup. Uh, <laughs> he yeah. Sat that one for five days. Yes. I don't want to hear about 2010. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you, yeah, you researched um, your joke as well. <laughs> Um, well, because it was the greatest headline I've ever seen. I don't know how I found it, but it was just like, uh, yeah, USA drew with England in the 2010 World Cup because I think the New York Post had the headline, best draw of the English since Bunker Hill. <laughs> that is retro. <laughs> oh, sorry. Smackdown, you loved it. I thought it was the best Smackdown this year. Okay. Of the, of, of, all right. Right I mean, oh, hey, oh. okay. Uh, the things that weren't so good weren't dreadful. Uh, and that was what Milwaukee wasn't great, the Aiden English stuff. Oh, I no, I like it. Yeah, no, I, I, I thought that was one of the worst. I think oh. it was good still. I don't yeah. think it was great, and I'm looking forward to seeing where it goes. Um, what else? You had uh, Shelton AJ, and Shelton looked good. Yeah, um, Shelly B. The right result with AJ winning. Obviously, I, well, I guess the, the the worst part was perhaps, am I missing something here? Joe, Big Show versus? Oh, I mean, whatever. Um, no, Joe losing to Jeff Hardy no, I love that. in one of these decisions. Like, Jeff well, needed why? a win. But against Joe, who's just been he, this... He couldn't get to his feet. His body gave out on him. There's but, nothing but wrong with that. But it wasn't, to me, in a weird way, <coughs> it wasn't believable that like Joe would be in a match where he can't possibly get... He's, he's Joe. He's he, The ref called it off. Joe didn't want to stop it. Uh, yeah, but uh, that's such a... You know. Do you remember... This just reminded me of... Um, was it the 2016 Royal Rumble? When... Kevin Owens had been in a last man standing match with Ambrose, I think, at the start of the night. And then they, they like, 
they wanted everyone to feel sorry for Roman, and that's when he went backstage and yeah, lied yeah. down. Oh, yeah. Owens, the heel, comes out dragging his leg behind him, and everyone's like, yeah! And it's like, what's going on here? Right. Maybe it's, I don't know, I, I like the fact that a match that Joe had a few days ago has taken its toll on him. Okay, yeah, but then does he need to have a match? Can he just be like, he was already booked. Lying around He's in the backstage. World Cup. Okay, actually, he you know what? You, 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 purse. See, I like that. You can sell Colt to Geordies. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you, you've, you've turned me around. Yeah. Now. It wasn't that bad. All right, fine. Uh, no, I, I thought it was great. And obviously, Charlotte versus Becky. Okay, the best yes, match so of their right. feud. Yeah. Um, it was yeah. a. I like the the result. I like the ending. People yeah. always complain about 50 50 booking, but we've got a <gasps> long feud. You need right. non finishes. Exactly. Sometimes you there can't are... always have. I keep trying to get more of it, but yeah, you're exactly right. Um, I like some of the other matches that go around this crazy. There's four ma- uh, four monthly shows in different countries, and so we have to have a feud that has to get stretched over. This feels like a story. Yes. So I've loved every bit of it. And then, yeah, this is because they hate each other. And Charlotte hated her so much that she put her through the stage. Fantastic spot. And that means we're either going to see a giant fist next week <laughs> or Mark Henry's son. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're on form today. <laughs> I'm actually trying. Oh, right. I mean, you have to. You see, have you read these YouTube comments? Is it something about, <laughs> is it something about Ross? Does he, Has he upset you? Negate your cheek? Look at, it's like, yeah, great. And look at it. You're actually smiling over Ross. It's just like, I'm always, that's, I'm a smiley I'm joking. Man. That's, that's joking. nothing I'm against sorry. you. Ross just doesn't really smile. No. The first few ones we did was like, yeah, good one, right? He's like, <laughs> hello. Look at me like I'm a bouncer and I'm wearing trainers. It's like, <laughs> nah. So yeah, I, I thought, I thought SmackDown was great. What do you think? Yeah, I thought it was a good SmackDown, yes. But I, I can't say like a statement like Adam's that it was the best of the year because I can't remember if there's probably a better one. Because when you said that, I thought, what about... And then I realised I was thinking of Raw, the big gauntlet match. Mm. But, oh, yeah, yeah. But no, it probably was one of the best. Yeah. It, it's just so rare that we see a really... We sometimes see a wrestling match kick off SmackDown or Raw. Right. Oh, maybe right. I, I said it on graded one in four times. I don't know how accurate that is. But we very, very rarely get a really lengthy great back and forth contest and yeah. we got that and I just thought it was a, a great start Smackdown is weird every week sort of does feel different they really mess mm. with the the structure and the placement of individual segments to make it feel fresh every week and so that's why right. you've got a hard job I'm sorry that you have to do more great right, man. It's okay. <laughs> I, just, I, quite, I, I just enjoy watching yeah. Smackdown yes. and yeah I agree and another thing about that match it was 25 minutes which may be the longest single fall women's match that has happened on WWE TV ever Possible. I need someone put that on. Yeah, Has there actually been a longer one? I've got to see there was the uh, Iron Woman, sorry, oh. the Iron, Ma- Iron, Iron Woman, Iron Man matches they've done on NXT yeah, and whatever. But NXT, but yeah. I don't think they've longer, actually done one. There was a longer one, I'm sure. Was I that read actually? in 2016, and I want to say it was Sasha. Oh, I can't remember. Uh, oh, maybe there's Sasha, Sasha and Charlotte, and Charlotte too. Yeah. They, they may have had a longer one. Oh, Hell in a Cell actually went a bit. But that's not That probably would have gone. Oh, I was going in general like oh, They right. probably would have. Actually, yeah, that main event did the uh, pay-per-view, so that went long. I think hmm. that. Anyway, yeah, it was... Um, Food for thought. So, Milwaukee, you said you liked it. Yes, because I mean, the way that you stopped it, I mean, if you were expecting, like, Aiden to start plowing Lan on TV and whatever this is, I'm sorry, yeah, you'd be really disappointed. <laughs> but, yeah, like, but then the fact that he, like, cut it and then was like, like, you mean a lot to them? It's just like, see, it's our friendship that's important. It's like, uh, you're very important to the Russo brand. He's like, okay. And then it's like, yeah, he's he's... He's jaded. He's he's angry. It's, I, a, it's a very it's nice when you see relatable issues. Like, damn it, this woman's coming. I'm more important. To you. What can she do that I can't? I, I um, think he just meant I can't get with Lana right. Uh, it's not fair. I can't get with Aiden. Jesus, I okay. didn't like it, and I'll tell Did you, you why. Oh, go on, please. Because they started planting the seeds of this of like a month or two ago, and then forgot about it. Where Lana was being the heelish one, and she'd say stuff to Rusev like, "We need to get rid of him." Like, do you remember this? Yeah. No, no, but it was, she was justified though because he was. Oh, because he tried it over there. happened in Milwaukee. Oh, my. When was M- Milwaukee? When How long was ago? it? Oh, I didn't even thought about that. Yeah, that's so actually... Maybe re- she was pissed oh, off, but brilliant. she didn't want to say anything. Oh, the show's brilliant. getting better the more we oh, talk God. about it. It's like Catch-22. The, it's the it's best all... SmackDown ever. <laughs> yes. Previously on SmackDown. <laughs> oh, remember that from three months ago? <laughs> when was Milwaukee? Okay. We need to find that out. Because oh. if so, that's some fantastic comedy. This is like yeah. Memento. Yeah. This is crazy. And so Aiden's like, oh, no, I have to prove myself even more. And that's why he's trying to interfere and cause Rusev to lose more because he knows as they... Keep, wow. your bloody, keep your Twin Peaks, Sam. <laughs> we got Smackdown, Smackdown, baby. Write that down. Smackdown better than <laughs> Twin Peaks. Uh, Let's have a rummage in our mail bags. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Pretend I'm... Oh, thank you, Papa Jack. Before we do this, one of the things we did last week was the um, 
stuff from your childhood that scared you or gave you the willies, whatever mm. it was. And um, I did get some people on Twitter saying, oh, thank you very much, Matthew. I tried to block out the memory of the suicidal air conditioning unit for a brave little toaster. Thank you for bringing it back. Um, ring a bell. Suicidal air conditioning. Well, if you've never seen Brave Little Toaster as a kid and know that memory, and there were people that went, yeah, thanks, cheers, so... I saw you uh, posting pictures of Fidget the Bat as well yeah, as Rattigan. Yeah, the Beatles. exact Ooh. moment. I was like, can I find this on Google search on the first page? There it was. I went, Terrifying. good. Someone else got scared Have of this. Have you seen it? Basil the Great Mass Detective. No, I've heard, I know of it, but I've never seen it. Brilliant uh-huh. film. <coughs> that out. Um, yeah. But sorry, Robert, there was something else I forgot about. Uh, nothing to do with me, but Goosebumps, the TV show. Yeah. Oh, yes. We had that on tape. It was the first one they did. The pretty damn scary, um, oh, Christ, what's the name? The Mask one. She puts on the mask and then she can't get off and she starts to turn into a monster. Oh. No, I'm it's the first one they ever did. It pretty, I mean, for kids, it pretty scary. And then he turned it a lot more lighthearted after that. I had that on tape and we used to be allowed to, you know, stay in the house and watch TV as a kid. My mum went out. So my brother was watching that by himself and got so scared he rang the police. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. And the police <coughs> came up. My ma- and uh, my grandma was also around. So she came over and there was this woman in the house and she went, Oh, are you a friend of my mum? <laughs> my mum's a friend of my daughter's. And she's like, No. <laughs> Oh my god. Why have you left, you left your, you your, your grandson so, alone with goosebumps? Was your brother scared that this, this masked figure was in your house? I don't know, or but if you've existed. seen it, again, it's what you think these memories. If you've seen that episode as a kid, you'd be like, oh, it's, it's pretty, yeah. I was an oh, I never afraid of the dark, dark kid. Uh, Fantastic. I downloaded them all the other day, legally, maybe. And uh, it was, uh, it's still a great show. It's still a, really fun. There's a YouTube channel with all of the S Club 7 TV series on it. Oh, yeah, yeah. The S Club Miami? Yeah, there was various. Yeah. Did that scare you as a kid? Or no, for me, <laughs> no, for me it was the, uh, I've talked about this before, but it was the Carlsberg advert. Which one? The one where the man, the woman, the old woman traps the man on the floor. Oh, yeah, so you she said about steal that. All his I Carlsberg. still haven't seen that. Oh, it's... What? Oh, don't oh, think. Oh. I'll, I'll give a very, very brief synopsis. I've never even heard that. So the, the Carlsberg used to do a campaign which was, it's so good the Danes don't want it to leave Denmark. Like, <gasps> oh, I do know the one yes. you mean. Yes. And he's, oh, wow. He's Somebody lolly, got fritzled, right? Is, they were like, <laughs> yeah. But that's his, a verb now. His lorry breaks down. It's a rainy night in the rural wilderness and he, there's a woman and he's like, may I use your bathroom? Yeah. What? I remember you, it. That I was, remember you remember it. from I had this, my I excellent I, Danish I, accent? Yeah, no, I think I had. Wow. I think I had the same reaction when you told it last time. Yeah, Karen. and then she's like, yeah, okay. And then, she, oh no, he, need, he wants to use a phone and then she's like, yeah. And then he rings and he gives directions and then he's like, may I use your bathroom? And she's like, yes, it's through there. And then he goes through, falls through the floor. She like traps him and puts a rug over the top. And now she's got a lorry of lager. <laughs> I don't understand what like, it was horrible. It was horrible. I was. I, I think love I, it. I think I cried. I was. I was young. God. But it was oh. calling the police. <laughs> no, I know, <didn't> <laughs> right? <coughs> Go on then. Arrow tied. So I've us. only put three in because they're all quite wordy. That's fine. Hi guys. Hi. I propose that the Miz versus Daniel Bryan match at the Super Australian Down Show <laughs> was actually brilliant. I had been thinking early in the evening that all the WWE matches are so formulaic that it gets boring. The spots may be different, but they all seem to follow the same formula. Then this happened, and it was out of nowhere, and it was unbelievable. The fact that Adam was out of the room and Ross was reading comments when it happened, <laughs> because you thought there was no chance the match was ending that early due to W's usual match building, kind of proves my point. How can you be invested in a match when you feel you can miss most of it because only the ending matters? If they thought if they do more of these, I think it could get fans more invested in each match because they don't know what will happen next. Fair Thoughts? play. Chris from New Zealand. Wow, that's a decent Chris, question. That's a very there's good a really great point. Chris. Did you guys miss it then on the... Uh, Stream them, yeah, right? I, went, I went to the bathroom and Ross was reading the comments and then he just got, came yeah. back and was like, oh, it's over, it's over. You know what, this is yeah. what I liked about um, SummerSlam is because there were super short matches on it. And yeah. you, yeah. you don't you don't need... <coughs> what was the laugh? Yeah, right? <coughs> Sorry. Super short. <coughs> no. right, he's dying there. Oh, I've had a bit of a cold. I was laughing because um, all of WrestleTalk's picks got battered in oh, like two yeah. minutes. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I, I think that's... that's a, we're never going to let that one go, are yeah. we? That's a fantastic point. And what do you mean, we? Before this, you didn't uh, know which side you were on, Matthew. You can't just side with the winners, the victors now. I think you find I can. Wrestle talk, a holic. Yes. Yeah. Uh, no, I think I'd, I have nothing to add to what you said there, because I think it's, um, it's completely spot on. Chris, what a man. Mm. Well done. And that's why Backlash this year was so reviled. Because it's like a long yeah. fifteen-minute match. Every, yeah, yeah, every match was exactly the same, regardless of if they could do that uh, and fit it or not. Yep. So, and it's why I will say this dying day. Damn it! If they'd done Randy Orton versus John Cena, the f- 
that was a second Hell in a Cell uh, match. At the height of out of nowhere memes, Cena goes for the hit some of the shoulder blocks, goes for another one. RKO, literally out of nowhere, ah, no expecting it. If he'd pinned him, five stars. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I've dropped Puppet Jack, but you would agree with me, five stars. <laughs> um, but no, that did then did keep on going. It was like, oh, whatever. Yeah. Cheers, Chris, Chris yeah, from yeah, New well, Zealand. Well done, Chris. You should yeah. have a podcast. New, um, New don't Zealand. have a podcast, there's enough of them. Chris from New Zealand. Travis Banks. Thank Carry you. on. Yeah. What's popping, big slices? <laughs> I hope this letter finds you well. I have two questions to ask, but first I must preface preface with a dream I had a few days back. It's spelled preface. So that's what I die. <laughs> I found myself chasing my cat in brackets Pablo around the house when I lost track of him and decided to look outside. I opened the front door and looked around, but was shocked to see a figure dressed in bright yellow crouched down beside my front door waiting. He lifts his head and locks eyes with me. And it's at this point I realize Chris Jericho is squatting in the bush next to my front door. In yellow. He raises his finger to his lips, telling me not to make a sound. Obviously, I comply, as it is Chris Jericho. <laughs> Our eye contact is then broken as he turns his head to the sound of my cat meowing from inside. Pablo. Pablo exits the house, at which point Chris Jericho lays a big boot into him. Pablo was evidently razzled, but gets straight up. It's at this point that my alarm woke me up. So I have two questions. With the feud between Chris Jericho and my cat now in the early stages, who do you think will win the match? And two, have you guys ever had any dreams involving wrestlers slash celebrities? Cheers, guys. X Jack from Australia. Is this for revenge for <coughs> taking a mick out of them with the Kylie Minogue standing? Uh, we've had New Zealand and Australia there. Yeah. yeah. Um, first, with the, the first question, the answer is I, I don't care. The second <laughs> is the dreams involving wrestlers. Yes. Oh, often. I think we've had this before, haven't we? Off, I, I often like, because talking about it for 50, 60 hours a week. <laughs> right. All I think about is wrestling. It, it, it's a weird position to be in when. One of the first things you think about when you wake up is wrestling. That's not healthy. That's not <laughs> normal. That's not cool. Uh, yes, um, absolutely, I do. Um, I after I met Mojo Rawley, I genuinely he was in my dream that night, which is pathetic. <laughs> and don't tell him anyone. <laughs> well, no. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't mind him knowing. Is, it, wait, like, wait, wait, is wait. it like in Flubber when he dreams about the robot, or she beams a dream hey, into Mojo. his head? Flubber's awful. I Flubber don't want to is... talk about Flubber. Is it, a, it's is it considered a bad, a bad film? film? Watch it back. Watch really? It back. As a kid, a good, I thought yeah, it was class. No, it's not a good film. <gasps> it's almost like as a kid. <laughs> it, no, yeah, no, it, absolutely. It is. And he's always good in everything? He, he's good well, in it. It's just uh, not a great film. Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Um, no, Robin Williams is great in everything. I'm just, uh, he's got a <gasps> tremendous range. One of my favorite films. Mm. Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm not trying to crap on the Yeah, well, I don't know. Yeah, you, right, yeah. Dreams. Boo. Uh, yes, uh, I had one of my first uh, sex dreams ever about Lita. He's gone there. He's done it. He's yeah. gone there. Well, somebody else was going to if I didn't. I didn't Someone's going to edit that to say one of my first sex dreams was about Mojo Rawley. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't, I, you know, I was, I what, I was like go 12 or something. Right. And the thong. Jack? Um, mine is... Um, <laughs> I I, had a, I remember my most recent dream about wrestling, um, but I don't think I've had one for a while. This must have been around the time of the Royal Rumble because it was about a Royal Rumble match, mm -hmm. which took place entirely on top of the Hell in a Cell cell. Oh, so whoa. I don't know how people were making their entrance, but it was CM Punk against four Undertakers, <laughs> <laughs> and it was and I and I had a I had a top down view of it, so I was like some hours in like the rafters, but I, that was it really. I'm doing another 2K sim tomorrow today. If you're uh, watching or listening to this, in fact, it's probably on just as this is released. Um, I'm going to start that off with CM Punk versus four Undertakers <laughs> in a Hell in a Cell match. Hundred <laughs> percent. Oh, thank you. I can't remember one, but just. Like recently, but you saying this remembers what I had years ago when I was a kid, and it's bizarre that you know with dreams sometimes they stick in your head until you go like that, and suddenly it falls out. This is from decades ago. I had a dream I was watching this show, and it was like I don't know, eighty-five thousand people there, or whatever. Saudi and the Arabia. main of, right, <laughs> and the main event was like Undertaker versus Test, <laughs> and Test had battle armor on. Oh, so Undertaker attacked him with a chainsaw to get the battle armor off. This is great. <laughs> It, and I was like, wow, I love Test. He's so great. Remember that match? Oh, that was a dream. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. What was that, Matthew? Nothing. Nothing. Carry on. Good. That's a, We've answered that. I we didn't answer the first question. Do you have any thoughts on Jericho versus... Oh, Pablo? God. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Um, um, I don't think it's true. Come on now. Is your cat booked on, the cruise? <laughs> <laughs> At, what, a grand and a half a pop. But if you have four lads, it's only 500 and whatever. Uh, hey, guys. Over the years, there have been a lot of WWE plans and rumors that, for one reason or another, never came to pass. 
OJ Simpson versus Fred. How did that not win the I know. Hall of Fame you pick that week? No, I don't. Oh, you remember that? Um, with again, Bruce Pritchard talks his thing, and uh, also in um, Dixon's book about uh, Titan, Titan Shadow, Shadow, yeah. or whatever, whatever. Um, about <laughs> they wanted for the uh, WrestleMania 12 Hollywood parking lot was going to be. O.J. Simpson versus Freddie Pyatt. Yeah, I remember this, yeah. Oh, Goldust, whatever. But then Russo suggested they O.J. Simpson versus Fred Goldman, the 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 father of the guy he didn't kill, because I, I guess I can't say for uh, legal reasons, because yeah, he's found yeah. innocent. Seriously? Yeah, seriously. And, 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 and Russo said, it's all right. He gets three weapons, <laughs> three weapons to choose from. It was like a knife, brass looks, or a grenade. <laughs> This is legit. This is a <laughs> well, I mean, they said it was a, as, a, as a joke, maybe, but I mean, Russo suggested it. Russo might have been on one of his Sam Driver runs. Bro. <laughs> uh, tag team money in the bank. Do we not? Oh, yeah, we don't get that. And Mr. Kennedy is Mr. McMahon's illegitimate son. Mm-hmm. As Hornswoggle says, yeah, Mr. Kennedy says that was going to happen. Uh, just a few examples. My question is, if you could make any WWE rumor from the past actually come to pass, which one would it be? Mine would be Cassius Ono being the third member of the Shield. Oh, I remember that one. Um, I have nothing against Roman, but Jericho slash Ono is one of my all-time favorite wrestlers. That was Punk's suggestion, right? I think so. Yeah, yeah. he suggested Ambrose, Rollins, and Ono. Yeah, and he went, "No, we're gonna pick the big dog." Yeah. Um, well, it's pretty safe to say that he wouldn't have been pushed like Roman has been. Ono being on the main roster and near or a part of the main event scene would have made me very happy. Thanks, guys. Keep up the great content and silly. Brandon, not Stroud, hey. from Missouri, not a Bronx. Yeah. <laughs> Every show. It must be like oh, a, a super cut of all the mentions of Brandon <laughs> Stroud, and not one time he'll mention us on any... Well, he mentioned, has he, he never acknowledged? You. No, he's never meant, talked to me. Yeah. I'm Facebook friends with him, but he follows liked, me on Twitter, he's, and he's never once mentioned you. He liked you. one of my tweets once or something, that I, that I, which was about him. Uh, it wasn't just a random... Oh, it was vanity search. Oh. Yeah. Um, okay. First of all, I'd love to see... I don't think we'll ever see Casio on the main roster. I see him as a, an NXT guy. I, I like that abbreviation, Casio, the by the way. Casio. What did I Cassio say? Sono. Cassio Sono. You said Cassio. Did I say Casio? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, great, yeah. though. That works. Casio kid on my brain. Uh, Hell of a guy. And uh, that's tough. I haven't got one here. Oh, I'd no. like to see. Oh, I've got to think. Um, um, oh, oh uh, Peter McNeely going to be in the Royal Rumble. What? Peter McNeely Peter was McNeely. basically the white guy Mike Tyson knocked out after his return from prison. Right. And it was the guy he was... It's the great, if you want to see it, not the fight, because the fight's like over a minute, but like at the fight, Tyson's just staring at him like that. And he, he cuts me and he's like, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I don't care. He's like, you idiot. Uh, uh. He's gonna, I'm, I'm going to wrap you in a cocoon of pain, Mike Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got one. Uh, yeah, I don't know what he's going to do in the Rumble, but it wouldn't have been much. Maybe. What the so hell? It's the ghost that? again. Oh my god. The Peter McNeely, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're going to really go in the Rumble. You want to WrestleMania? Okay, go on. Mine is so when The Rock was revealed as the guest host of WrestleMania, uh, everybody was saying it was going to be Justin Bieber. And I would have absolutely oh loved to see Justin Bieber Why? host WrestleMania because he would have been booed out of the building and it would have made us some of the most fascinating wrestling oh, content wow. ever. And not in like us talking about it. We weren't doing it back then. Just seeing. Bieber, yeah, do a do a halftime show with Flo Rida or Snoop Dogg, yeah. and just <laughs> he'd come out with The dr- Rock, wouldn't he? Yeah, he's probably friends with The Rock. Yeah, yeah. Um, Bieber, Kim Kardashian was in a WrestleMania once in a backstage segment. I think I remember that. Mr. Kennedy or someone, maybe Santino, was rude to her. Oh. Yeah, I don't remember that. Genuinely. Wow, really? She looks different. She looks really young. She's probably in her twenties, but. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah, she she could have been the corner of uh, OJ Simpson. Oh, <laughs> yes, because yeah, of the yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, that's how we know that. Cause, cause, oh, this is that's like, because of the OJ Simpson problem. Like, we know this that. This is like Milwaukee <laughs> all over again. <laughs> My God, the piece is thin. <laughs> um, um, also, think of one. the the match that was apparently supposed to happen because they build up to it, the Snitsky Heidenreich versus oh. Undertaker and Kane tag match at Rumble. Uh, sorry, at WrestleMania that didn't happen because <laughs> Heidenreich and Snitsky tried to do it. <laughs> Double suplex, Undertaker, Rumble, and Undertaker went, no! <laughs> and, oh, that was one of the one. Dan the B7, the original plan for him in 99, or late 98, mm-hmm. was going to be his part, a part of the Undertaker's ministry. He's going to come out with like 666 written on his head and be like their, I don't know, whatever, guy who goes around killing people with suplexes for the devil. Oh, right. Um, but he went, no. Uh, because, Seven said no. Because uh, he's Dan the Beast. If he was yeah, like, yeah, if sure. he was playing a wrestling character, it's fine. But he couldn't go around with six six six. That was Dan the Beast Seven. I've never heard that one either. Yeah. Um, I've got a, a small one. It's not like a big industry changing one, but I just would have liked to see it. Um, the rumors last year that the next sort of cruiserweight classic style tournament was going to be a lucha one or like oh, a yeah. Mexican one. Yeah, Mexican. Yeah. Or was it like? Oh, I think yeah. it was like a Latin American one mm-hmm. generally. Uh, I think 
I'd have liked to see that. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not a particularly big fan of lucha wrestling, but I think it would have been cool. God knows before signing Rey Mysterio to the deal, which is what it's going to be a year, maybe two years if we're if we're lucky. They they certainly need another big marketable. Andrade Cien Almas. It is, but he's, he's not, not a like like Almas. Yeah, yeah. He but he's, he's, he's handsome as. Oh, he's, he's the best. I've not seen him on SmackDown. Oh not yeah, honest, but yeah, it's Where annoying. Is he? No Where's sanity. Sasha Banks? What's oh, happening? Yeah. Where was our truth People think that Sasha Banks... I mean, might be... no truth either. But you didn't notice, did you? Because it's... <laughs> I didn't because it was a great show. People think that yeah. Sasha might be have, uh, like, have a secret injury. Uh, right. Who was that from? Sorry, did we say his name? Or Brandon. Her. Who did? Brandon. Oh, from Brandon Minnesota, yeah, I want to yeah. say? Missouri. Missouri, sorry. Randy Orton country. From Ryan, not Sutton. Yes. Still for all the writers. <laughs> yeah. uh, if you have a question or a joke thinly disguised as a question, yes. we, we also accept those. You may or may not have noticed. Please, please, please... Don't send them to us. Uh, but if you absolutely have to, send them to mailbag at cultaholic.com. Nailed it. Nailed it. And it's time for the insert later dub wav file later <laughs> on. Big question. And this is the bit of the show where we talk about something and everyone will read that question, not watch the video and comment underneath. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> wow, what's the feedback for this? Big show, Neville. Whatever. <laughs> Sorry. Um, this one's mine. This is a I good like question. Thank Jack. you. I did it on Twitter and I got a lot. People are still engaging with it. It's oh, oh, no. everyone's. It's, it's not, terrible. It's, it's caused a nice debate. It's been good. There's no such thing. It was um. What is because uh, SmackDown 1000 is next week. What is your Mount Rushmore of SmackDown? So four figures who you feel encapsulate okay. the spirit of the blue brand. So obviously Shane McMahon's on there. <laughs> no. <laughs> do you want to go first, Adam? Have you got? I can if you need a bit. I can do this. Right. I can do this. Um. Okay. Undertaker is 100% on there. Oh. For me. Any particular run? Or? Uh, is that a great... Hello, Teddy. What did he say? <laughs> oh, there? Teddy. Yeah. Yeah. We're too Teddy. Sorry. Oh, we're too Sorry. Stephanie. A lot, a lot of people on Twitter have been putting Teddy Long on the Mount Rushmore of SmackDown. Understandably. Mm. Yeah. He, was, he was GM for a long time. Yeah. Vicky Guerrero Martin. is... Oh, there's an argument to be made. Um, oh. Perhaps not over <laughs> the rest of the names that I've been mentioned. Um, oh, it's difficult not to just mention all of the, the SmackDown 6 here, isn't it? Edge is 100% on there for me. I yep. associate him very closely with SmackDown, probably yep. because I wasn't watching Raw as much during his great heel run there. So, Taker, Edge. Oh, man. Ray. Okay. Definitely. Ray's on there cause, just because of some of the matches that... <coughs> He had on SmackDown that were absolute classics. Yeah. Oh man, there's so many that come into mind. Maybe Teddy Long does deserve to be on. There. Maybe. Do you? No, I'm not putting Teddy Long in my uh, You know what? I'm gonna stick with the WWE uh, champion, the current WWE nice. champion, AJ Styles, because he's, he's had a great run recently, and I think it's one that you know, if we were to be asked this question in five years, his name would be up for contention. So I'm jumping the gun a bit, yeah. and I'm oh, putting well him done. in now. Thank you. I'm going to go for, it's a bit of a weird one, but The Rock, because it yeah, was his phrase, it was his... Yeah, you know, I didn't even think of The Rock. And, you know, he's on Mount Rushmore, show. he's yeah. a rock. <laughs> oh. So oh. The Rock... Don't you do that, you've been doing <laughs> The Whoppers all night, Matthew. The Whoppers. No, whoppers so all I'm night. For The Rock, um, Batista, I think. Mm-hmm. Ooh, it's difficult, isn't it? The Rock, Batista... Mysterio styles, I think. But, then, you're, styles but and then you're leaving off like yeah, I really agree with it. But then you're edge. leaving off like Taker, Edge, Angle, Guerrero, so many. Guerrero, oh Eddie's got to be on. Okay, right. <laughs> the Rock, Eddie, Batista. I styles. would take Batista off. No, I take Styles. You take Batista off. Mate. For no, me, Batista's really no. SmackDown. Yeah, I, I associate him definitely with SmackDown. So what is your final one? Come on. Oh, the Rock. Air pressure. Eddie Guerrero, Batista, AJ Styles. Nice. Ooh. No edge. Okay. CM Punk as well. He's a good I'm going to make it slightly more different and talk out here. <coughs> Punk, Jeff Hardy feud. Oh, you're doing <laughs> things? Absolutely. <coughs> okay. Uh, because, wow, the feud that made That's Punk yeah. after he was unmade. Chicago made Punk. Uh, uh, good one. Whopper. <laughs> <laughs> Chat the Whopper. Yeah, that'd, be your ca- that'd be your catchphrase every time someone says, huh, huh, Whopper. That's a Whopper. <laughs> Even you catchphrase. You love it. So and my surname's sure. King <laughs> Whopper Burger King. Whopper? Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. All right, that's oh. my new thing. Trademark. Right. Or someone else gets to it. Some girl, that's big, a Whopper. Some girl at Ding. uni, right? Some cocky lass, like two years below me at uni, brought the house down by saying to me once, I bet even if... Because someone like made a Burger King joke. I get them all the time. Like, oh, Burger King. 
And so she was like, I bet even if your name was Burger, you'd still put the middle initial G in there. You'd be Burger G King. And everyone, all my mates were like, she's. I think they just wanted to kiss her because she was, you know. Blonde. Oh, they were like, oh, busted. Hey, she's rinsed you there, pal. But they're not. Geordie. You're pooned. Burger Sorry, G King is funny. Just, it's it not, is quite it? good. One time, my mates got, went on my Facebook when I didn't realize I'd logged out and just changed one thing, just Jack P King. And you didn't notice? I did notice. Oh, okay. yeah, but I couldn't change it quickly. I had to wait for like a week. Carry on. I've told you. One of my, one of my oh, mates. Uh, uh, <laughs> Before, apparently. No, I'm not trying to over. <laughs> uh, we changed his name to Jizzy Jizzcock. <laughs> we wouldn't let, wouldn't let him change it back for like ages. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Matthew. I'll so you've you got the... <laughs> In the Progress 70 show they did, mm. Jimmy Havoc's character was Jizzy Jizzborn. Was it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And then um, Jack Sexsmith came out doing like Adrian Street, yeah, like, yeah. all the peacock feathers, like Gorgeous George style stuff. Came out, really long, elaborate entrance, got in the ring, everyone's like loving it. Havoc just gets the mic and goes, why are you dressed like a bird? <laughs> like an Aussie Osborne brummy. Oh. So oh. CM Punk, Jeff Hardy. Oh yeah, oh, back to normality. Came out as Jeff with a fat. Yeah, oh, yeah. oh yeah, th- that right. alone. That it alone. Scary. Yeah, yeah. It did, it yeah. like, What's happened? To Jeff that was kid's yeah, reaction. Angry face, wasn't it? That was that. Oh. The glasses kid with a crap haircut. On oh, me. <laughs> oh my god, yes. If you two had a kid <laughs> and it hated wrestling, yeah. just like you two. Um, the. JBL Cena no holds barred match. Oh, amazing! Just the most blood you'll ever see. Was that on a SmackDown? It was SmackDown. SmackDown pay per view. Yeah. Right. Well, oh you know. well, then Eddie JBL. Mm. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Damn what it. Oh that? yeah. Actually, you know what? Yeah. No, a few people remember that one. Yeah. It's Eddie when JBL when he. It's just... when he does the dance. And he's, st- he's just covered oh, yeah. in his own blood. Uh, JBL like... starts bleeding, and the canvas is just all red. Yeah. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. Um. Uh, London and Kendrick holding the tag titles <laughs> for about a year because yeah. they forgot to hold the titles. Yeah. Uh, one more. Oh, when I think SmackDown being good, I think like 05 and then later on like 09 because those are two really good periods. If you're so allowing, I've covered that. I've covered that. Go on. If you're allowing just any SmackDown things and you can't, you, you haven't put the fist in, the fist is, is a disgrace, <laughs> Matthew. I was going to say Mr. Kennedy, but you know what? You've changed your mind. <laughs> the fist. The fist, yeah. Smackdown 2, enter the fist. <laughs> Let us know yours in the comments. I think... I, sure. <laughs> yeah, 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 we need, we need us here. to say that. Yeah, straight away. No, if you've gone this far, leave in the comments, jizzy jizzcock. <laughs> do both. Do both. <laughs> That's right. All the other people will be really confused going, I don't remember him. <laughs> Put him in the... In the <laughs> did, he wrestle, more did, <laughs> did he wrestle Eric Escobar or Kisani? <laughs> So oh. uh, this has been fun. Uh, I have enjoyed it. A reminder, yes. submit your big question uh, audio stings. Oh, yeah. As well as a, a release form so we can actually use them to <laughs> mailbag. You know, people are going to send in. It's the big question. Jizzy Jizzcock. <laughs> Do whatever you want. Maybe we use a different one each week. Can we call Not it, as... can we start referring to it as the Jizzy Jizzcock big question and name it after him? <laughs> Just think that's a good <laughs> Let's do it and not explain to Ross at all. Why <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's Jizzy Jizzcock time. <laughs> <Yeah>. What? <laughs> oh, I've had, uh, I've had a great time. Uh, Adam Pacitti. At Jack the no. Jobber. <laughs> at Matthew Greg. See you soon. Bye.